Hey guys, what's up? I wanted to try the live app or the live YouTube app out. So I thought I'd just do my makeup like I do every day. Okay. Um, I've already washed my face, I've already done my hair. Um, I've already put on moisturizer. I use um, the Perfectly Posh Moisturize 911. Um, sometimes I put it all over my face. Sometimes I just put it on my under eyes because it's good at like tightening your skin and helping it to look brighter. Let's see. I don't do a whole lot um, with my eyebrows. I'll just take like this e.l.f. Um, clear uh, mascara and eyebrow duo. Like in my eyebrows I just brush them up and then kind of just neatly groom them or brush them over which I just trimmed them recently so they're not real long so it's I don't really have to do much to it I'm lucky that I have decent eyebrows okay um, now this is a CoverGirl, um, let's see what it's called. It's called Illuminator, so I use it to highlight certain areas. It doesn't say, oh, it's 725, that's the color. Um, some people use contouring, like they put a darker shade to make it look like they have higher cheekbones. I'm lucky I have pretty good cheekbones naturally, so I just, I just kinda like to highlight it. So instead of putting a darker shade to make, to make the bones look protruding more, I just put like the highlight right around it. Like you'll see like the shadow and you don't put anything on that, or I don't put anything on that, and then I just put the highlighter around it so it kind of lets the shadow be darker, if that makes any sense, just to highlight my cheekbones. And um, I'll blend that in really well. Some people might use brushes, but I use my fingers a lot of the time, and I'll like, Highlight my chin right here and blend that in real good. And then, like, I don't put contouring on my nose, but I might highlight my nose. I'm not always good at getting it straight, but good enough. <laughs> and uh, I might put a little bit right here and just blend that in real good. And another thing, um, I want to cover these dark under eye circles so what I've learned from the internet and YouTube is that if you make it like a triangle it looks better than like a circle or an oval underneath your eyes so literally just make a triangle and then I like to go all over my eyelid I don't wear eyeshadow a lot but like I just use this I guess it's an eye shadow and just to make it look brighter and for my blue eyes to pop more and I might go a little bit farther up okay and then I just do a ton of blending a ton of blending and y'all know I'm definitely not a makeup artist uh, this is just what I've seen has worked for me and it's not perfect it's a more natural look like I don't use a lot of color I just use like you know, my skin color or a little bit brighter. And I might do just like a little bit right here. It looks crazy, but once you blend it in, like it looks better. And if this cuts off because my battery dies, I'm sorry, but <laughs> that's the way it is. Okay. Yeah, the key is to blend in a lot.
And I like um, sticks or foundation that's more creamy consistency because I have like wrinkles around my eyes. I don't want like powder to settle into it. That's why I don't use like powder eyeshadow because it would just bring out my wrinkles more and just would be cakey looking. And then sometimes I just leave it like this. Like I know there's some patches of like pink, reddish in my skin tone but sometimes I just leave it like this and put so I actually do use like some translucent powder but today just to even it out more I'm gonna use the I love this stuff the L'Oreal Magic um, Skin Beautifier BB Cream and Fair and sorry I have like allergies and my nose is running <laughs> but I just get a little bit on my hands and just a little bit everywhere and then blend it in real good and I kind of have to blend it in fast because it dries fast and like sorry if I'm like I'm using the camera as my mirror but I'm also using the mirror as my mirror because I can see better than the actual mirror but it just takes a lot of blending to make it look more natural and evenly blended and goes all the way into my skin. This just um, evens out my skin tone, blends in with the illuminating stick. Now if I really wanted a little bit more, um, uh, let's see. Uh, this is just a brush that I got from TJ Maxx, and this is e.l.f. Shimmer. I just use it as like a highlighter, as like a golden tone. And just get some on my brush and just smile. Just put a little bit as a highlighter. If I put too much, it just looks like I put yellow on my skin. Like yellow blush, but I just put a little bit. Okay, and then um, just to top it off, I have some e.l.f. translucent power powder. It's just called Sheer. It comes, um, there's like little holes right there. And then, um, let's get some out. Get some on my brush and just get it everywhere to even out my skin tone and to help it stay good. Um, yeah, I'll just put it literally everywhere. Okay. Mascara, because I don't really do eyeshadow. This is just the typical Maybelline uh, Great Lash that's cheap, that just is classic, um, in the shade Brownish Black. And I don't put like layers and layers on there, just get, you know, enough. Sorry, this video is probably going to be long. Because <laughs> I'm not editing everything out and it's live. But there you go. And just to set everything. I have um, tried this recently and I love it. I use it every day. It's the Mario Badescu, Bedes Bedes however you say that. Um, skincare facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water um, I just sprayed on my neck because it's like ingredients is good for your skin and it just helps my makeup to set and stay better you can even put a little in your hair just like especially if you have wavy curly hair just to fight frizz and to help it stay more and 
that's pretty much it. Um, if I'm running out the door, I don't even put anything on my lips, but um, I used to wear lipstick or lip balm, whatever, but my lips just get dry and flaky or I have like, I get chronic cold sores, so I can't really just wear lipstick all the time, but um, just for every day when I don't really have cold sores, it's just dry and flaky or whatever. Um, I have this Blistex lip serum, conditioning lip serum, and um, since cold sores are highly contagious, just in case I have one, I do not use my fingers or like, I can't just use like a chapstick or a lip balm, I have to use a So I just put a little bit on the Q-tip so my fingers are not touching it. And I use one side for the bottom of my lips. This is really moisturizing, but it kind of looks weird like you're all white when you first put it on. But you just have to blend it in or get it into your skin really good. And then the other side I use for my top lip not to spread any germs. Okay. All right, so there's my everyday uh, makeup look. It's I'm more of a natural makeup kind of girl. I don't like do like 16 layers of eyeshadow and. Uh, contouring and all that stuff but that's just my personality you know there's nothing wrong with putting on a lot of makeup but I like to be just use a few products and I'm out the door so thanks for watching and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more I have some poetry videos coming up um, I'll be reading some original poems I'll probably be reading some lyrics like a poetry reading if you watch some of my, my other videos you'll know what i'm talking about um i have some holiday videos planned i'm not the kind of person that does vlogmas because i mean <laughs> i have i work and i have you know a life outside of youtube but anyways um like this if you enjoyed it subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified when another video comes and let me know if you'd like to see more live videos or just regular youtube videos and also comment down below what's your everyday makeup routine and what kind of videos would you like to see for me next okay thanks for watching guys bye Bye.